the squamous cell uh, cancer of the anal canal is a GI malignancy. Um, it's uh, relatively rare um, in, in terms of its incidence, um, uh, but quite uh, debilitating um, uh, in its uh, signs and symptoms. So patients may initially um, present with a feeling of fullness uh, or some difficulty with moving the bowels or bleeding. And the initial therapies um, can cause remission or cure in, in a reasonable number of patients. Uh, and that includes chemotherapy and radiation and often surgery. Uh, but a notable fraction of patients will eventually relapse. Uh, and when it comes back, it's more difficult to treat uh, and associated with um, more signs and symptoms. Uh, it can be uh, more substantial pain, more substantial bleeding, uh, fullness uh, um, in the um, uh, rectal area, uh, but um, and those are the local symptoms. And then, of course, if it's spread outside of that area, you can have a variety of signs and symptoms depending on uh, on where it may have spread. And in those settings, it's uh, difficult to treat and considered um, traditionally considered not curable. Um, the therapies, you know, available in that setting uh, are chemotherapy, uh, multi-agent chemotherapy, and and um, they're uh, not easy to tolerate. Uh, they're, they're drugs that oncologists um, use regularly, but they're associated with a bone marrow suppression and um, neuropathy and other side effects at reasonable rates. And so, you know, patients have to put up with not just the signs and symptoms of the disease, but also of the treatment. Um, chemotherapy as a first line maneuver um, has transient benefits. Um, you know, you can get shrinkage or partial remissions like that that last a few months, but inevitably uh, the tumor comes back and is not curable, unfortunately. So there's it's a mainly um, associated with human papillomavirus. And so there are several strains of HPV, human papillomavirus, notably 16 and 18, which cause a number of, of human cancers, head and neck cancer in the um, oropharyngeal infections, cervical cancer uh, in women, uh, and uh, anal uh, cancer in men and women. Uh, and so it's a viral triggered uh, disease. Um, um, the HIV population is also a group that is particularly um, at risk for, uh, for this uh, complication. Um, and so that you know, adds to uh, their uh, particular, um, uh, uh, the, the way that it, uh, HIV AIDS can manifest. and um, and present. Uh, so if you had to put a figure on it, more than nine out of 10 patients with this disease uh, have the HPV infection. The, the reported incidences are something like 95% of patients uh, have this uh, underlying infection, which eventually led to and promoted the, the tumor.